So what does it mean to be accurate? Stay tuned. Welcome to Animated Christians. My name is V. Matthew, and on this channel, we do questions about the church as well as original content. Now, I'm not saying all churches or pastors are like this. I'm just trying to get rid of the mindset we created the church to be. You see, churches teach a lot about the word, meaning the Bible. And you can click the video card above if you want to learn more about the Bible. The point is, the Bible should be accurate to his word, and the church should be accurate as well. But first, we must define what accurate is. A definition of accurate is capable of providing a correct reading or measurement and accurate scale. So looking at this definition, we see that means everything is correct. There is no flaw whatsoever. Though I have noticed in the church, there are two different accuracies they're talking about. The first one is the Bible and the church being historically correct and what it says, but may come across as offensive in their belief of modern churches, sort of like a disagreement with one another if they do not agree with their doctrine. So there was a comment in one of my videos that said, I would love someone to make a more accurate Bible story of creation. Let me tell you this, I can't create an accurate version of the Bible story. It would only be my interpretation of it. Before you go typing in the comments below, like you will find someone else who can do it, let me say, no one can do it. It's impossible. But what we do give is our interpretation. So what does it mean when I say interpretation? Well, a definition of interpreting is a teaching that combines factual with stimuli explanatory information. So looking at this definition, it means I'm trying to figure out the meaning of something and what I think it means based on the facts that I have on hand. It's a near impossibility for me to create an accurate version of the Bible. The best we have are interpretations of the same story. But how does this apply to the church, you may ask? So basically, in churches, we have two different belief systems when they claim it should be accurate. The first one is the ability to be historically correct and may contradict some of the church doctrine. And the second is the belief that the church doctrine is correct and that the Bible must align with that doctrine. You see, the problem is that most churches seem to fall in the church doctrine belief system and that the Bible must align with their doctrine. And there's no doctrine in the Bible of any kind. Yet they want all people to agree with this doctrine and any other doctrine is considered false. You see, most Bibles are interpretations of the story of Christ. And so most church doctrines are interpretations as well. The problem arises when you think your doctrine is correct and another is incorrect. Churches have a sort of blame game that goes with what they think is correct, but not what is historically correct. It is their interpretations of it. First, all churches need to get out of this mindset that you're correct or that your doctrine is correct. Read your Bible. What is the Bible truly saying is correct? You say to have the most accurate church, but is that true? Or is that your interpretation of it? First of all, read the Bible in both the interpretation and historical facts, and you can find most modern churches does not align with the Bible very well. It only aligns with what they agree with and nothing more. This is not to alarm you, but to make you aware that each church is an interpretation of the belief based on the Bible. In the comments below, can you show me 
a church that is both historically and accurate to the Bible without taking away any context. So I hope this helps explain the differences between accuracy and interpretation. And join me next Friday where we will discuss meditation. And never forget, Animated Christian is just for you.